<laughs> oh god, the amount of people that have begged me to do this video. <laughs> Um, for any of you guys who are in the dark about this, um, the game Manic, um, definitely go check out his video on this topic, I'll put a link down here because of YouTube's new terrible layout. He did a video basically talking about the Naruto games and basically how we have way too many Naruto games in America and how we need more Bleach and One Piece games. I agreed 100% with his video because personally I think this is really, really stupid that we have this many Naruto games. I mean, this year we already have three more Naruto games and we have a new one coming out early 2011. Alright? So basically, we're seeing way too many Naruto games in America and not enough Bleach and One Piece games. I can understand why Naruto, because Naruto was, you know, the hottest shit to hit Cable. That little yellow ninja running around doing his jutsus, you know? It was the biggest shit to hit Cable since Dragon Ball Z when it comes to, like, anime and cartoons, alright? I mean, with high popularity, there has to be stuff. There has to be toys, action figures, video games especially. Like, for Dragon Ball Z, we had tons of games. So, of course, Naruto is not going to be spared from that shit. I mean, we had tons of games. I mean, on the GameCube... We had the Clash of Ninja series on the Wii, we got Revolution series, we got Ryujinki on the Wii, which I can't wait to play, even though people said it was meh, I'll still play it. Um, then on the DS, my god, how many series do we have on the DS? We got the Ninja Council series, we got the Path of the Ninja series, we got the RPG series, Jesus Christ, oh my god. <laughs> And on the PS2, we have the Ultimate Ninja series and the Uzumaki Chronicle series. PSP, we got the Hero series, the Home Console versions. We got the Broken Bond series. We got the Storm series. It's just ridiculous how many series we have. Out of all those Naruto games, you guys, hmm, I've only enjoyed probably like four of those games. Clash Ninja Revolution 3, Broken Bond, Ultimate Ninja 3, and Path of the Ninja 2. Now, the reason why I enjoyed Path of the Ninja 2, even people say it sucks, it took a break from the basic Naruto games of just fighting like ha ha ha. It actually put you in an RPG setting, which I like RPG games, and a Naruto RPG game made it even better for me to take while I was on the plane. I could play it there without freaking you know button mashing, playing Ultimate Ninja Heroes too. I mean, I enjoyed the RPG Naruto games, which I think they should personally do more RPG Naruto games like that. I mean, the Broken Bond series. I don't want to see those series stop because they're great. They actually have a story. It's not just senseless fighting. And sadly to say, Ubisoft isn't going to make any more Naruto games on 360s, which really sucks. Because I think those personally had the potential to be the best Naruto game. Because people, it's not all about the graphics. It's about gameplay. That's what the game suffers down to. And the story in Bonds was really great for an anime game. And the fighting, I'd say, was decent. There were some things wrong, but it was still a decent game. I mean, what is this thing? People have become such graphic whores nowadays. It's just ridiculous. All right? So where, what about Bleach of One Piece, right? Why aren't we seeing any of those games in America? Because I can count how many Bleach and One Piece games we've had on all 10 fingers, all right? We've had um, a couple of One Piece games, I think like three One Piece games in America, and uh, three Bleach games in America, or was it four or three? I don't know. I found it a very interesting topic on why we aren't getting any Bleach games in America. See, Sega owns the rights to distributing the Bleach games in America, okay? And most of the best Bleach games that everybody wants are the Heat the Soul series and the ones that are on PS2. Why we're not seeing those games is essentially because those games were made by Sony and we're not getting them in America because there was some debate or dispute between Sega and Sony. Either Sony has to pay Sega to distribute the games or Sega has to pay Sony to get the rights. It's one of those two. I'll put a link in the description. Actually, no, actually go on Google and type in why we aren't getting any Bleach games in America. And there's this forum and there's this chat room where people talk about it. And there's this one guy who really explains it all. I really can't remember. I, I looked up like a year ago. But apparently that's the reason why. Because something involving money would bring those Bleach games into America. And some, either Sega or Sony doesn't want to pay. All right? And the reason why we're not getting any One Piece games in America... Really? You don't know why we're not getting any One Piece games in America? Well, possibly because One Piece is an unknown now in America, alright? Well, it's infamous now. I'm not that infamous. Alright, it's just infamous as being one of the most terrible animes to come from Japan. I'm not talking about the actual Japanese anime. That anime is amazing. I'm talking about the 4Kids version. The 4Kids version was utter crap. Nobody enjoyed it, alright? So for an anime to release games in America, there has to be a popular anime like Naruto or DBZ. We had like three Bleach games and we had like four One Piece games that were years ago, okay? So One Piece is not even popular in America anymore, so developers don't really want to release it. They don't want to spend money dubbing it. You know, they don't want to do any of that. So that's why we're not seeing any One Piece games in America. One Piece isn't popular, hasn't attained 
enough popularity to warrant releasing a game or warrant remaking a game on the PS3 or 360 in America. So, sadly to say, we're not going to see any One Piece games anytime soon unless One Piece all of a sudden boom in America, which I doubt because it's not popular anymore. And it, frankly, it's Funimation saved it way too late. I mean, they finally attained the rights when four kids just stopped. But it was too late because no one wanted to watch One Piece. And this was especially the time when anime started to decline. So, sadly to say, we're not seeing any One Piece games. And um, a tip to anyone if you have the Wii. Um, if you ever want to play the Unlimited Cruise series or Adventure series. Um, in Europe, just like Ultimate Ninja 5, they released the game with Japanese audio English subtitles. Which personally I think is a great idea that they did. So if you want, you can import those games. If you have a freeloader, I doubt you still do because the patch was like two years ago. If you basically hacked your Wii, you can play your import games. So you should definitely think about importing those because I imported, uh, I think, episode one. I, I don't know which one it was. I, import, I imported one of them. And it was actually a pretty fun time playing those games. So I definitely recommend importing those. And guys, Ultimate Ninja 5 is not coming to america okay please stop all right just get over it all right the game is not coming if you want to play it swap magic or ps2 get it from europe there you go it's like 20 bucks if you convert it from pounds to dollars all right so that's the only way you're gonna play ultimate ninja 5 all right just get over it. i mean the japanese voice is already better so what's the reason just importing it from europe it's not coming to america okay let's get over it. it's one of those naruto games that isn't coming to america okay all right it's probably because everybody is under the assumption that every Naruto game is going to come to America, which, frankly, 98% has, except for that game. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, the Wonder Swan games, they're not coming, all right? So, anyway, you guys, this is my video on the reason why we're not seeing any Bleach or One Piece games in America. Bleach, something to do with the licensing rights and uh, some money is in the transaction. One Piece is not popular enough in America to warrant releasing a new game on any of the consoles. So, sadly, we see any of those games, guys. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And catch you guys later. No, this was just bad.